Hello everyone, it's Stacy with Crafty Dragon Creations. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a design team project for um, my own design team. We're going to be using uh, my new kit that is Cottage Core Foxes. Um, actually at the time of filming this, I don't quite sure what the name is yet, but <laughs> the, uh, all the information will be below in the description box. And, of course, there will be a discount code down there as well for 30% off this kit through July 31st. So, um, yeah, all, all the information will be below. The links will be below. So you can go and check out this adorable kit. So I'm going to show you how I made this little uh, folio journal. Um, out of some six by nine envelopes. So let's get started. All right, we are going to start off. <clears throat> now, um, I've obviously kind of prepped these in advance, but um, what I'm using is these six by nine um, envelopes, those yellow, you know, this color. And I took the little things off. And they come off pretty easy, you know, those little things. And I took, there was like some uh, paper around that, so I took that off. And then, um, I didn't really want this color to show. And of course, my papers aren't 9 by 6 So I just took some white acrylic paint, just this basics, you can get it at Walmart. Um and painted the flaps and then just around the edges and I didn't get them perfect they're not totally solid but that's okay I'm I'm okay with a little bit showing through I just didn't want the edge to show through so I have um, seven of these and that's all I had I think I have more but I just I found this stack of seven <clears throat> so this is what I'm gonna use I have these kind of situated where I want them so I'll kind of show you what what I've done so I have two here and they're going to flip over this way and then I have another two here that are gonna flip over this way and then I have one that's going to flip up, is that right? Hold on. I may have... Okay, so I think this is going to flip down. And then when you flip that back up, then I have two that will flip up. And then these two <clears throat> on the sides, I've folded the flap to where it goes this way so here's the envelope opening and I did that for both of these and then I'm going to glue the flaps together so that when this is open this will flip up and this can also <laughs> flip up or when it's closed it can flip up or whatever so and then the same on this side so that is my plan for this and I kind of put these all together I want the bottom to be as even as I can make it I have this one folder that's like bigger than the rest so that's kind of I thought I had used that on the front hold on let me do let me do some switching around here I think that's gonna be like that okay, let me see yeah okay so I made that the one that was the widest because these are never all the same 
on the front so that you don't really see it sticking out the side. Okay, and then I'm going to have this um, flip over and then there'll be some sort of closure. So this is going to kind of be the cover and this will be the back side. So I've taken my journal pages and cut them all in half. And I want this one to be on the front because then I could put something here if I wanted to. And I just love that little fox. He's so cute. Oh yeah, I do want to ink all these up. I forgot to do that. So, let me do that real quick. Okay, so I got that done. I used ground espresso and I just kind of, I didn't want them to look, you know, old and vintage. I just wanted them to look finished. So, I just kind of went lightly around the edges. Okay, so this one I definitely want to be my cover. So I'm gonna glue this on. I'm just gonna use Barely Arts glue. Which I really need to order some more. Maybe I'm gonna use it. All right, now let's try that again. There we go. So you can use whatever glue you like. I'm not gonna put a whole bunch in the middle, just enough to kinda keep it stuck down. trying to get the same amount of edge on the sides. Okay. So there is that one. Now that closure that's going to come over It'll be all right. Well, we will, we will figure that out. Okay. So then, let's glue. Go ahead and glue these together. I'm just going to use some tacky glue for this. This acrylic paint kind of makes things feel like vinyl to me. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not sure how well it glues, but. We're going to find out. But I wanted to use this so that I have room to move. Yeah, look how off those holes are. <laughs> Make sure that they're even somewhat okay so then When this flips up, I can either glue this down, or I can glue it up here. I could also make a little tuck out of it. I could cover it with something. And let's see. I'll just go with this one. It's so cute. Okay, 
So if we make this a pocket, I could um, print this page again and you know use that, but since there's really nothing down here, I might just leave that like it is. And then that will fold that way. So put that one there. Okay, so we have, this is our first page, and I'm probably going to have to put, uh, cover that down there with something. So then we flip it up, I'll cover this with something, and then we have that. Okay, so then this one, I just want to make sure this is going to be the right way. So it might be upside down going that way, but that's okay. Because I really want it to flip this way. Oh, you know what? I just put those on upside down then. Okay, so it'll flip. Oh boy. <laughs> No, I did it right, because this is the front, so it'll flip this way. Yep, I put those on upside down. Shoot. I wonder if I can get them off. Ugh, no. Okay. Well, then in order to make this work, this can't be my cover. Oh, wait. Wait, so this is... Hold on. <laughs> it's the bad part about doing these. Okay. So, here's my cover. Flips open. Yep, they're upside down. But this way, they're not. So that is something to think about when doing these. Well, I'm just going to have to go with it because either way, something is going to be upside down. So, okay, it'll be fine. We'll just go with it. Let's do this one this one here okay so we have the cover it's gonna flip up like this we'll have a pocket there then it'll flip over like this. And that's just going to be upside down. Alrighty. Well, let's just keep going. Pull another random one out here. Okay, so this is... This one, we kind of got the same dilemma. So if we want it to open this way and see those right side up yeah we'll do this one the opposite of this one all right so then we have those two and then this one Let's see, do I want to put that flap under there? Because then this one can come down. So we'll have there, there. And then it will also flip up. 
Okay. If we do that, we can make this an up tuck there. Okay. Let's do this one. Okay, so we have that. It will flip down. So I need one to go right side up. Let's do this one. here let's do uh, let's see let's do this one okay So oh, then this one, right, is going to flip up. That's going to be a pocket on there. Do this one. Double check. <laughs> right, so we have this. It'll flip up, and there's that. It will also flip down, and there's that. Okay. So then we need one here. Oh, let's do that one. Okay, so everything is covered and then we'll have the back and let's put this on the back and we can put like the end. <laughs> All right, so I have lots left over. All right, so this is going to be a flip down, and let's see. let's see if we have anything in here that will, I think these all might be a little too big. Yeah, he'll get cut off. Okay. So I do have some, uh, oh yeah, we have all these journal pages too, so I might do something with those, but then I have the pattern papers, so we could use that, and then I also have just like background papers from the pages. So, let's see, is it this, yeah, this is going to be, so you might just use some of that, alright, hold on, hold on, I better, I better, make sure here okay so that's in there okay all right so I'm gonna use this
Get that just up there to the fold. Yeah, that'll be good. And I could just leave it like that. But I think I want to... There's like a little gnat <laughs> flying around here. I want to fold that over. Let's see, where are my scissors? Let's see how good I do it. Trimming this. Not too bad. So we'll go ahead and fold this over just to give it some strength. around it. Got this weird little thing there. Okay. All right. So then that's going to be like that. Okay, get out of here, net. So, yeah, we can glue these two sides. Okay, first let me glue this one into here. We can start actually putting this together. didn't get it down all the way but I think we'll be okay okay so then we're gonna have a pocket here and we'll have a pocket there okay and then this one we will just bring this one all the way down These envelopes are not not very straight, are they? Okay. I think that is good. So let's get this glued down. Okay. So then we have a top loading pocket there. And then Okay, now this is going to be Okay, so We have this like this Or do I have it the other way around? Yeah, so it's going to go like this because then we're going to open it and then flip up. Those will be right side up. So we have a little pocket up here. So I'm going to cover that. Okay, let's ink that up a little bit.
Okay, and then we'll glue this down. Hold that down for a minute so it'll catch. Okay. So now to attach this to this, I think I'm going to kind of hinge it here. that will I'm gonna have to make the hinge kind of big on this side maybe I'll just hinge it on the back I think I might use fabric let me let me get my fabric hold on okay so let me cut a little strip, I think maybe an inch, and let's do an inch and a half. Let me just make sure this is going to work before I cut some more here. This opens up. That flips up that way. Oh, that's not going to flip up. Okay. Okay. So this one, I think I did it right, actually. Nope, this one. Oh, I did both these upside down. All right. I wonder if I can switch sides here. Or actually, that flips. Nope, then that won't flip up. Okay. Well, I think that's going to have to be fine then. Yeah, I think that. Okay. So I'm going to glue it on the inside part of this instead. Good thing with this glue is you can rub this off. Alright, so I think this one is still gonna. Oh no. I can fix it so it's like this. So it opens up. Oh, well, that's gonna make this my cover. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, I think I think I'm I think I'm good now. We'll find out if I mess up. Sorry, I'm just putting glue over here. Okay, 
I think we got it. So we have this. It flips up. There's a pocket there. Close that. Flip it over. There's a pocket here. There's also a pocket on the front. And then we have this one. And there's a pocket here. And it flips up. Pocket. Page. And it flips over. There's a pocket there. And we have this. It'll flip down. There's a pocket there. And a pocket there. Okay. Ah, there's a pocket down here. Oh, that's that's that. Okay. Probably need to glue this down because Oh yeah. Oh. No, I don't need to. Okay. So this flips down. There's a pocket here. Yeah, I do need to glue that down so that, that doesn't get confused. There's an extra pocket on this side. Okay. And it goes back up and then it flips up. So then we have a pocket here. We have an up pocket there. And we have a pocket here. And then we'll have a closure. All right, well, it's pretty, pretty interesting. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to decorate it off camera and then we'll come back and we'll look at the final result. Okay, guys, here is the finished product. So I, I did quite a bit in here, so let's uh, let's get into it. So there's my closure. I covered that top flap with some fabric. And then I just have a piece of twine that goes around. Um, this is a hole reinforcer that I made and cut out on my scan and cut. So I'll put this aside. So there's the cover, and here's this side. I put two signatures in here, but uh, there's that. Oh, first of all, I need to flip this up. So this flips up, and we have a pocket here. So I have a little envelope with some journal cards. We have this cute page and there are there's a pocket here and then oh yeah when we open it there's a pocket here I haven't put anything in those pockets but they are there so there's that I just did a stamp on a piece of fabric so someone can write their name or date or whatever here is the first signature. We'll go through those in a second. But here's the second part that flips up. Again, there's a pocket here. So then this flips up. There's this pocket. Have this little folio that comes with the kit. These cute little tickets. They can be used as journal cards. And then this tag. So there's that. And we have this cute page. Okay, and then we open it. We have this page. 
There's a pocket there. And here's our second um, signature. So we have two signatures right here. Uh, so then we have this page. And then this flips up. <laughs> it's kind of big. And here's our little up tuck. So then I just have this little journal card in there. There's also a pocket here. And then we have this beautiful page. There's a pocket here. And then it flips down. And there's that page. And that page. So these can be, oh, and there's a, a pocket here as well. So these can be decorated however you like. Oh, and then there is the back. Get that string off of there. Okay. And the signatures. So you'll notice some of the pages have this. Um, because I cut all my journal pages apart and I wanted to use the ones that I didn't use on the envelopes so I just hinged them back together okay and here's this one there's a tag there and then we have a belly band with this cute little journal card you'll see some weird <laughs> Kind of decorating um, because my printer leaves these little black marks along the bottom so I just tried to hide that as much as I could here's a pocket and then I just have this paper in there it can be for extra writing space or you can make something out of it and we have this page here again I've Kind of decorated the bottom put a little corner tuck up here and just made a little notepad i used a lot of graph paper in this one and then i have a journal page this is really cool i'm gonna do a, a video on this I may have already done it i don't depends on when these go out i'm probably you'll probably have already seen this actually so this is the stacked pocket where they go in separate directions and I just have little pieces of paper in here to write on so I'm not going to pull all those out but there's two, four, six pockets so this is really cool I really like that and there's this page and then I have another little journal in here. Again, I used graph paper. So, just more writing space. Here we have a little flip out that holds two tags. And then, you know, you can have all this as writing space. Journal page. I left this one blank. Okay, so there's one signature, and then this signature, there's that page, again a pocket, a couple tags. I didn't um, put a lot of toppers on these tags because it would create a lot of bulk, so some of them have toppers, some don't. Um, here, I made this pocket. So there's, I just used a, one of my leftover papers. So there's a pocket here, and then a pocket here, and then this front pocket. So you got three pockets out of that. And more journal page, and this pretty paper. And then here I just created a big pocket and I just have a piece of paper in there. You can write on it. Let me get that in there. There we go. 
Then we have a pocket here, another little tag. And then journal space. A pocket here. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so first let me show you this. This is just a, a little piece of paper for more writing space. Uh, this is a little pocket and this these little tags come in the kit and when I cut it this side looked like a pencil so I just added like what would be the what is that graphite and it looks like a little pencil I thought that was so cute I mean you can obviously cut that off but I don't know I just thought it was kind of cute and I just wanted to leave it like that so we got a little pencil in that little pocket. <laughs> and then that one's blank. And there's that one, another journal page. And then we have a belly band here and I made a coin envelope out of one of the papers. Here we have a pocket with a tag. I do have a topper on this one. And then the final page. And then we go back to back to these. So there is a completed journal. And then this, you can just run it through here, bring this around. Let's make sure these are the same length. And then just tie it closed. So you can fit a lot more in here. There's all those empty pockets from the envelopes in here. So you can definitely, definitely do a lot more. So there we go, guys. There's my Cottage Core Foxes Design Team project for June. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was really fun to make and uh, kind of different. So. I am I'm happy with it um, if you guys enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate it and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more uh, videos and I will see you in the next one bye bye